Hello everyone. This is question 14 in the book of questions. Now this one goes, if the person you were engaged to was in a car crash and became a paraplegic, would you back out of the marriage? If not, what if they became a quadriplegic? And this, uh, this has a follow-up. What if you found that the person you plan to marry would likely get Alzheimer's by his or her 50th birthday? Okay. Uh, now, uh, my answer on this, uh, it, it may not be particularly nice, uh, you know, if you really think about it. Uh, there, there's a definite element of selfishness here. Um, now, uh, if the person I was engaged to uh, was going to be paraplegic, I would certainly consider uh, continuing on with things, uh, but I would seriously take a look at breaking it off. Uh, and that may be, uh, th that may be selfish and a kind of a jerk move, but remember this is engagement not actual marriage uh, if this happened after a marriage then I would not be uh, filing for divorce immediately uh, so let's be clear there but this is before and I think there is at least some chance that I would want to bail on the situation but if it's just uh, just paralyzed uh, uh, you know, it's just the legs, uh, then I think there's a really, really good chance that I wouldn't break it off in that case. And, and the reason for that is most of the time, if you're just paralyzed, uh, you know, paraplegic, you can actually get by uh, quite, quite well uh, without a lot of extra care. Uh, and this is this leads to my answer. If the if the the person was going to end up quad, uh, quadriplegic, then yes, I would break it off. Uh, and that's because I I would be a fool to uh, to actually undertake uh, a commitment of that nature. Uh, the amount of care required for someone that has that can't move any limbs is substantial, and realistically, uh, I don't think uh, if I'd be doing anybody any favors by continuing with things in that situation. Uh, I would very quickly feel resentful that the level of care required. Uh, is going to eat into my time substantially. And I think that resentment would be very apparent to the fiancé. And that would make their life uh, particularly unpleasant as well. More unpleasant than it would have to be. Uh, and, you know, and as I said, this is kind of a jerk move, a selfish thing, but I, I, would, I would break it off. And, the, you know, I think as much as it might be painful and a jerk move, I think it would be less painful, less problematic for, for both parties in the long term to simply break it off and get the pain out of the way right up front and, and then allow the person, the, the fiancé, to find somebody else uh, if that person exists. Uh, and... You know, and I'll be honest here. Uh, if I was in a situation where I really, really, uh, well, I guess it'd be deeply loved somebody, I might not make the same decision. Uh, and presumably, in the uh, engagement case, you would assume that that level of deep love exists. But I think in the vast majority of cases, it doesn't. I think for the most part, that deep, true love is probably a myth. Uh, uh, so that's why I, I think, realistically, I would take the selfish way out and break things off. 
And sure, I would have some pangs of conscience over doing that. Uh, but I don't think it would prevent me from sleeping most nights. So uh, I think I would do what was best for me in that case, and that would be to break it off. Now, this follow-up question. Uh, this is, uh, it might seem like the same question, but it really isn't. Uh, if my fiancé, if, if I found out my fiancé was likely to end up with Alzheimer's on their 50th birthday, well, uh, what I would do in that case would depend on, our, on, on their current age. Uh, the question is, how much time are we going to have together? I think that would be the uh, the big part of it. Uh, like if we're in our 20s, then I probably wouldn't think of it at all. It wouldn't make any difference. Uh, you know, is, is when you're 20, that likelihood of something happening in 30 years doesn't seem all that important. 30 years seems like a long time off. But if we're in our late 30s, or into our 40s, then I think I would I would seriously consider breaking it off. Uh, and, you know, again, it's that, that same jerk move, but it's the same calculus there, the same, the, the same uh, uh, balance of uh, what's the better thing. And, and if, if it's the case where like, I'm getting older, right, if, I, if I'm approaching 50 already, uh, then I know what being 50 is, is like, right? So I'm likely going to be going, well, do I want to have to deal with that? Uh, but even then, I think uh, there's a much bigger chance that I wouldn't break it off in that case. Because while Alzheimer's is devastating, you still get those lucid moments in the early stages. And even mid mid to late stages, there are lucid moments. Uh, but uh, so you can still have some sort of a relationship, at least for a while. And 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 to be fair, to be realistic, uh, when Alzheimer's progresses, you don't really have uh, any reasonable home care alternatives. Uh, it, it, it's just too risky. So the amount of care that I would personally have to put into it is a lot less than, say, the quadriplegic case. Um, but on the balance, uh, let's assume a, a historically normal marriage age of early 20s. Uh, I don't think it would factor into the decision because that's 30 years, right? Uh, as 30 years, 25 to 30 years, that's plenty of time to have kids, have them grown and, or mostly grown and, you know, like the, and, and to have a good life, right? Um, so, uh, realistically, uh, in, in a normal situation, uh, the Alzheimer's thing, if the likelihood of Alzheimer's at the age of 50 was high, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd uh, break it off. Uh, and also, this is a likelihood. It's not a guarantee. And this also changes the equation quite a lot. So that, that would mean that even if we were much closer to, to 50 than 20, uh, it would still change, the, it still wouldn't change things near as much as a, an immediate known problem would. Uh, so, uh, to sum up, uh, paraplegic, I probably wouldn't, cut, wouldn't break it off. Uh, you know, I, th I think the uh, necessary uh, uh, care, extra care and so, on, and so on, wouldn't be as onerous uh, uh, as it could be. Uh, the, you know, knowing this ahead of time, you know, I, I would feel comfortable committing to that. Quadriplegic, I would not feel comfortable committing to the level of care required. And, and that is, uh, sure, it's selfish, 
but I, I would almost certainly break it off in that case. And in the likelihood of Alzheimer's at age 50, I probably wouldn't. Though the closer to age 50 everybody was, the more likely I would consider break, breaking it off. But then again, if I'm getting married at that age, but basically my age now, uh, I, I kind of need to be expecting that sort of thing, right? Unless I'm marrying a 20-year-old, right? So, uh, so realistically, uh, let's assume that, you know, the person I'm going to marry and is going to be in their 20s. Uh, and we'll assume that we're having this conversation 20 years ago. Um, then, no, I wouldn't, wouldn't break it off in that case. Anyway, uh, that's basically all for this question, so I'll leave it here. Uh, if you have any comments on my uh, uh, jerkishness, uh, leave them down below. Uh, if you uh, liked or didn't like the video, leave a like or a dislike. Uh, if you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.